India and Pakistan are now both nuclear uh, powers. That's different here. How worried should we be about that? Uh, we should be very, very worried, uh, well, considering that the Pakistani after use of this air strike, which on the one hand, are they calling uh, uh, fictitious because they think that the Indians did come in and uh, did uh, drop bombs, but they dropped bombs in a hurry and didn't really strike any target. They just dropped bombs on a patch of, uh, on a wooden area. That's what the Pakistanis are claiming and providing proof. On the other hand, the Indians are saying that they've killed over 300 uh, hardened terrorists in a five-star uh, training facility, which the Indians uh, said belongs to the Jashi Muhammad group which has been involved in the past. Uh, in attacking uh, Indian assets on the ground in Indian parliament as far back as 2001. Now, there's a lot of he says, she says when it comes to Pakistan and India, but this is what we know now. Uh, the situation is escalating. The very populist Pakistani prime minister has summoned the national authority. That's the highest security body of the land that the boss decides uh, to nuke or not to nuke. That is the uh, uh, authority which is headed jointly which is headed by the Prime Minister, but obviously dominated by the military, which essentially is an important player in this country. More importantly, just minutes ago, right now, we have confirmations and video from the Pakistan that they did strike into Indian territory in Indian-occupied Kashmir this morning. The Indians, they're saying, came back and, uh, to strike back at them, and they are claiming with video and evidence that two Indian MiGs have been shot down uh, Pakistani fighters. Video of one has been released. News of at least two pilots being arrested on the ground. Indian pilots being arrested on the ground after the aircraft crash has is being released right now. So really, the escalation is climbing. But both sides are using interesting rhetoric. Bell. Yesterday, the Indians called this a non-military strike. They said we did not strike any civilians. We did not strike any military targets. It was just a preemptive strike against hardened what they said hardened terrorist assets. Meanwhile, the Pakistanis, in their own strike, they also said, we do not want to escalate things. We just want to institute us our own self-defense. So again, there is kinetic action from both sides. But they're both trying to maintain a low level of escalation. They don't really want to climb up that escalation ladder to, to the nuclear option.